What's up, YouTube? Justin here with Fan Man. And Derek. And uh, we figured we'd give our chance, our shot, our op one opportunity at our uh, fanless prediction and uh, see how it kind of goes. Um, any other words you want to say? Words of wisdom? Let's get it going. All right. So, as we all know, the band list was supposed to drop today. Uh, it says no sooner, no earlier than November 20th of 2018. So, I mean, I have a feeling we won't get one until January. Like, or the end of December, almost. <laughs> I, that's my feelings. But, who knows, because what, we got a month and two weeks before the next YCS, I think. What it is, in Europe? No? Something like that. It's somewhere. You Google it. Yeah, we don't got time for that. So we're going to jump in here and um, I guess just kind of go over the ban list and let you guys know what we think needs to be banned or could be banned and what is banned that could come off either to one, two, or three. I don't think we have anything that we think could come to three right off the bat. Um, other than uh, Elma Geo Stratos, of course. Of course. No, that's worth a shot. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> Give me all their entity Norden at three now. It's not gonna happen. No, we have instant fusion still. We'll never get him at three if we ever get him back. But we'll go ahead and jump in here. So uh, for sure, the first thing that we think needs to be banned is all the stuff that's surrounding the FTK, like everybody else on YouTube, anybody else the locals that you talk to. The FTK stuff is what's hurting the decks out there now. Um, they're not going to ban Firewall. Pretty much we already know that. You lose something? Yeah. What? Uh -huh. oh, I okay. found it. All right. <laughs> yeah, because we know they're not going to hit Firewall. Like, they pretty much made that clear. Unfortunately. They're not going to get rid of Firewall. Everyone knows it. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's saying it. So I think they're going to have to ban the Cannon Soldiers and... Um, any of the ones that just do the burn repetitively, which is destroying something uh, or something. I wish I could it. show y'all the firewall ABC with a tomb cannon soldier FTK that I did. Guy sat there and poked me for 500 till I died. And I was like, you're going to be that guy? <laughs> so then he took care of that. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're almost safe until you do it. Well, I, guess, I think that might be why they hit a core, a assault core, because of the loop that they can do with it. You kept, you never stopped. Like, Firewall is the reason, like, we can't play ABCs. Yeah. yeah so, it's because of Firewall. What we got? Um, one of the banned cards I think that needs to be banned, and this is going to be very controversy, controversy, controversial, I think it's uh, Isolde, the Two Tales of the Noble Knights. Uh, it's too generic, it's too easy to make, and with everything going on with the FTK, it's very easy just to spam it out, and then... It's a rota that can attack. Yeah, and, I mean, you're sending the, the spell cards to the graveyard, like, Thousand Blades. I mean, like, that's another one later on, I think, that we might have as an honorable mention. I think it, it needs to be hit to one or banned. I think it needs to be banned, to be truthful. It's it's too, what would you say? It's too recurring. You just discard, what is it, banish card from the graveyard and put it back in your hand. It's the, too consistent. Yeah, whatever the blade, the sword blade thing, or whatever it is that they use. Yeah. The equip card to send off with the Esold. Um, because, I mean, you hit it to one, most decks only play one of it anyway, so why do you, why, at that point you just need to get rid of it, and then that, that'll help with the, uh, Destiny Hero Malicious too, as well in our, our point of view, or my point of view at least, I don't know what Derek feels about that. I think Destiny Hero Malicious might get hit, but that's later on. I feel like he will too. He's just too easy. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, and then next up, um, I think Top Logical Gumblar Dragon. When you can hand loop somebody and knock them down to, to, what, four cards, I think, to start with. Before their turn starts. Like, say they go first, you do the Gumblar combo. Hit them down to three cards, they go. They have four cards to start the duel with, with the Yuling board. You try to break a Yuling board with four cards. And we don't have Max-E, so, like... Scapegoat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Game go would be terrible on that yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah, your turn. Yeah, so that's what we think needs to be banned are those two cards. Because we know they're not going to, or not those two cards, but all the FTK stuff, like Cannon Soldiers. I can't think of the rest of the names right now. There's um like a girl one, like Effect Monster, 
and then there's um, there's another one as well. But like we said, we can't think of the names. We just know the cannon soldiers. That's all everyone ever freaking uses. So let's get rid of the cannon soldier stuff. Uh, e soul is a thing needs to be banned. Like he's a good card and he helps the noble knights out, but he's played more in other decks than he is in noble knights. Like noble knights, you name drop him once, maybe twice. So that's the only bad part about banning him, though, in my opinion. And then uh, Tall Watcher Gumball Dragon. So what are some things you think that could come off of being banned? Maxi. So you, Slow that stuff down. So you think if they're going to keep the firewall and get rid of the FTK, they still need to... Yeah, if they're not going to do that, you bring Maxi back. What they, do you think? You're going to special them all day. You're going to... You're going to pay for it. You're, you're going to give me a lot of cards. You're going to pay for it. You're going to give me cards. You're going to at least give me options. Um, that's what I think. Maxi... But then there's the controversial question. Everyone says it either needs to be a one or three. What do you think? Oh, like, Maxi. why can't it be a two? I mean, yeah, I had no problems running because it at two. I think people two is just too inconsistent. Like, two is not good enough. But one's consistent enough for you? Don't ask me. I'm just saying. I've like, the two, people I've that say two of a lot of things. Yeah, I've played two of it for a long time. But, I mean, like, I would like Maxi at three, in my yeah. opinion. Everyone's like, one or three. Um, Why not two? <laughs> I would like it at two, but, yeah, um... That would be one that we take him off, either one or two, or one or three. You don't want to give us like this everyone's one? saying, but I would like it at two. Which one? These. It's all that, yeah. And then this if we're not give us pot agree, give us pot avarice. Yeah, for sure. That's I all mean, I'm saying. We don't have enough consistency, and like, yeah, the zombie decks are are not gonna really want to use it because of the fact that they want stuff in the grave. Um, Goki. A lot of their stuff goes off in Grave. Now, once the effect goes off, they could put them back in the deck. That's the only harm I could see there. Uh, Sky Striker, if it used all of its mobilized engage, does Pot, Pot of Avarice? Hold on. Does Pot of Avarice make you? Is it just monsters or? It's right there, you just missed it. Oh, did I? Keep going. Is it just monsters or is it spell and traps too? I think it's five cards. Yeah, five just, monsters. Yeah, so, see, it wouldn't do anything for Sky Strikers, so I'm not too worried about that. So it's just five monsters, shuffle them back into the deck, put in and then uh, draw two cards. But, I mean, Lightthorns could use it. Um, what else? Shadals. Yeah, I mean, I guess so, but you, wouldn't you want to be banishing your stuff on Grave before you're no. trying to put it back in there? That was a trick. I was about to say, uh, I wouldn't see why. Um, Monarchs. Shuffle, um... No, Idea and Herbers. Yeah, unless you or use Eidos. unless you use Idea or is it Idos as effective banishment. Ban if them. you don't banish them, yeah, so it'd be good them there. Back. So Pot of Avarice is one of them. So let's uh, jump in another one. Uh, I think Bla and like everyone's saying Tempest could come back, and I see that for sure because of the heart new Harvey support that's coming out in the next. Uh, what is it? Um, Legendary Duelist. So I feel like Tempest could come back to one as well. But my also opinion, I feel like Blaster could. I don't know everyone's going to be like, are you crazy? Blaster's like the best what? one. And I understand. Are you crazy? But look at all the decks now that are coming out that are fire support. Yeah. Like you got the Mayakashis that just came out. If Konami wants to make this, that deck better. The Salmon Greats are they fire? Yeah. The Salmon Greats are fire. So like, and they're getting a new Link monster over there. And a new XE monster if I believe right. So, like, you want to make those fire decks a little bit more better, give them Blaster at 1. Like, you're going to have to search for it. You're going to have to dig through the deck and find it, unless you just open up Amazing. Give them Blaster at 1, that's my opinion. Put Blaster to 1. And then, um, what else did we have? Uh, oh, shit, Construct. Bring Construct back to 1. If you don't want to give it to us at 3 right off the bat, give us 1 of it. I mean, what is it? The OCG, I think, has it at three, and Shadal's ain't doing crap. They literally aren't doing anything. Every now and then you'll see, like, a variant of a Shadal build pop up here and there, but that's it. And then you got, uh... Harpy's Feather Duster. Yeah, because it's the Harpy support that's coming out. What do you think about that one, though? That could probably come back at one. Okay. What do you think it would do the most damage to decks? What decks? Alter guys. Alter guys for sure. Um, Sky Strikers. Well, Sky Strikers, yeah, I mean, because they set the Hornet drones. They set the Hornet drones, but I mean, like, that, that's 
Off top of my head. And Widow Anger. Guys a lot. Uh, multi guys. The Paleos, if there was still Oh, yeah. Paleo still pops up every now and then. One just every popped now up not long ago. The Paleo player would not like you. Uh, just naturally anybody. You have a nice back row. I don't like it. Um, so give it to us at one. Give it to us at one. And that's, I mean, that's when you go for the uh, the win. Well, that's what o the OCG has it at one, too, I believe. And they it's don't. not... They don't know what they're doing. It's not meta-breaking for them. but they, they get fan man? No, but I mean, they. I'm saying they have it at one. So yeah. why can't us at the TCG... Oh, hi, Joyce. Let's... Yeah, let's just put that away. There we go. But, um... Yeah, I don't see why we couldn't. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, just at one. I mean, we're getting all this Harvey support. What if they dropped a freaking reprint of it in the Duelist? Like Legendary Arana. Duelist. Or, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Put, it, put it at the end of it. You only use this card once per turn. Once per turn, or you pay some kind of cost. Yeah, or, something. You have to banish something. Discard a card. Like a Twin Twister, but busted. Yeah, <laughs> bust. You have to discard as many cards as you want to to pop, pop. yeah that, or destroy yeah that'd be, that'd be all right but that at that point when they eradicated it like that the card would be dead and like the ocg didn't eradicate theirs that's what they want to do but i just feel like it could i feel like it could come back to one and we wouldn't be fine i mean because i think like harvey's feather duster out of heavy storm and giant true nade are is the most yeah equal uh, even giant true nade is like put everything in your hand you have no chance of Chaining to it anything. or anything. It's to your hand. Heavy um, Storm destroys everything. So if you're paying Paleos, you just help. The, if he, he activates Heavy Storm, he's helping himself. Right. Jesus, come on, Joyce. Get off <laughs> of my face, but... Um, Give us back. That grass looks greener. Yeah. To what, three? Yes. I wish. <laughs> I wish. But if I'm being truthful, at least semi. Semi? I feel like you'd only go to one. If they're going to... Even attempt to bring back the 60 card decks in uh, time when it's life points instead of here's your turn, here's my Richard, turn, here's yeah. your turn. I feel like they'd put grass to one. They'd be like, mm, we'll give you one. <laughs> the second it do. came out, it got hit like that. Yeah, it was like the next ban list. I feel like it got it hit. Got hit. I'm so sad. Because I tracked down those We things. both did. We tracked down three of them. That's when you were playing Infernoids and us playing the Light Sworn. Uh, I had some ghouls. Preda Plant. Stop it! Good oh, no. duels. There we go. Good duels with the grass. But <clears throat> one or two, that's my opinion. What else we got? I don't know. I was taking off the notifications <laughs> real quick. <laughs> True King Lithiogasm. Oh, yeah. True King Lithiogasm. I mean, I know he's good in the Dinosaur deck. But, like, what else was I, I was thinking? Um... He's just a generic earth, and like none of the other ones have been hit. You've got the water one, you've got the fire one, and him. What? I thought of a card that we can get banned. What? Or not banned. I don't know. Isn't Ultra Pill uh, one? Double Evolution Pill? Yeah. Don't you touch my dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> They've already been hurt enough. Get like, out of here. Uh, if anything, it, yeah, I'd see hitting it to one. I don't see banning it. One. Slow yeah, down. give it one. But most of the time. deck only plays two. Like, I play two. One. I know. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you can search it out with that. What is it? Over over Rafter? Over Rafter. Something like that. One. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think the Lithiasm could come back to two, though. In my opinion, I mean, how many decks out there right now do you know that play a bunch of Earth? Other than Dinos. That one Trump all deck we saw. <laughs> <laughs> That was a long time ago. It's a too. classic. Mm. Classic Trump all deck. Didn't do anything. Um, no. And then, one, um, mine is, uh, I think that's it. I think we can hit, it. yeah, because we said El Sadal Construct. All right, so well, on. Nerdy. No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> Unlimited stuff. What do you think needs to be limited? Limited, I just said. Ultra Pill. You think Ultra Pill? Uh, oh, scapegoat. You. Scapegoat you, could slow down. You think so after they just hit it to two? You think you'd put Scapegoat to one? Mm hmm. I can see it too, because I mean, it's too generic. You can almost create a U Link board with just it in a monster. You can do it just right. It's a free U Link. Almost. Almost. And that's not good. I don't like it. No, one monster in a escape goes activated on your opponent's end turn and then go into your turn. Yeah. It's I pretty like to, bad. I like to play on my turn, not to let you. And play then it. the next card is one that could help that. If this is the card you summoned after you scapegoated during your opponent's end phase, 
drop Armageddon Knight and be like, send this card to the graveyard. And uh, I'm going to keep going now. So that's Armageddon that's mine is Armageddon Knight. I think it, I don't want to see it banned for Firewall's sins. Like, I don't because it's too good of a card. It's, it, it's generic for a, a lot of decks. It helps a lot of decks. I wonder if Konami's ever made, made a card and, like, after a month, it's like, Wanna read that again? Like, oh. Crap. Oh, they have. They've had the uh, what is it? It's like a emergency, emergency ban. Emergency ban list. Yeah, they've done it a couple times. I like, think Skirt. twice. Yeah, I think they did it with performal pals. They were like, oh, we messed up. Yeah. Let's give those back real quick. Yeah. So skip going Armageddon night. There's been a recall on performal pals. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta come back. And then um, so that was it that we thought. Would be limited. So what do we think that could come off of being limited out of all this stuff? My opinion, I feel like Cleforce Scout needs to come to two. We haven't seen Cleforce do anything. Like when we got, uh, what was it, Cleforce Genius, I think is what it was. We thought the deck was going to start doing more. Then we saw Cleforce Towers get to three. Still hasn't done anything. It could be Kaiju. It's get... more like you quit Fort. Do what? Hmm? Cliff Fort? Quit Fort. Quit Fort. Quit. Just quit. Quit Fort. Quifort? <laughs> Is it Quifort? Yeah, Quiforts, uh were, I thought they were going to come back, but they didn't. Yeah, they haven't done anything without the scout at two, because, like, you have to go so many through different, so many different things just to freaking get the one scout, and then you're like, oh, now I can search everything. I don't. Since I like to be that guy, I want Patheism and uh, Erebus. Is that our name? Ither? Uh, Ither. I was like, Ar what? Erebus is that three. Ither. <laughs> yeah. To come off. Like you're banned at all. <laughs> yeah, if if like if that won't do anything in the next ban list, just give us full power monarchs. Let us at least give us a chance to say no. Well, I mean, look at the OCG. They have both of them unlocked, and they literally haven't really done anything. They got the domain it's monarchs. They're not. Fan they're too man. slow though. They're not fan. -made. Well, I get that. I mean, I'm gonna play the crap out of the deck. It comes back to three on everything. You're but saying, right now, it's just I, I feel like it's slow. Dark arm dragon in the monarch deck. Not half bad, um, but don't draw it. <laughs> <laughs> I see you got another allure target. Uh, yeah, allure target. Speaking of dark arm, I feel like dark arm dragon come could come to two. I mean, we just got BLS to three, and towers. Give that we could dark move arm. dark arm dragon to two or three, and I don't think it'd be a problem because you need what. I think it's three or five dark monsters exactly in the graveyard. You have exactly. to have. It can't be more. It can't be less. It has to be three. I think it's three. Is it? Is it three? Or we're going to have to dub me saying dark arm. I'm at Destiny Hero Malicious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I feel like dark arm could. You could have. You could you try it. I you feel like he could come to two at least. Give us two. Let us see what we could do with it. Because, I mean, BLS isn't even really getting used. I mean, it gets used here and there in Black Luster Soldiers and new, uh, uh, Praying Abyss. And, uh, I swear he has a new link. I think he does. I know Dark Magician's got a new Ritual Monster coming out. It's everywhere. Oh. It's pretty good, actually. Um, so that's what I feel with Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, malicious, yes, I will agree. I feel like... Don't make Malicious... I know Malicious was used back in the day, and it was done the same way as is going on now. But I don't feel like we need to destroy Destiny or Malicious because of the Firewall FTK. Or the decks that spam them out. Like, some of those decks, that's their way of continuing to play. Like, those Rogue decks, that's their way to compete with the meta decks. Is Malicious. It gets in the graveyard, it's a special summon from your deck. It's just extra link fodder, link material. Uh, True King's Return. What about it? Is that going to come off? Oh, we don't want that. You think we... Yeah, I think it'd come to two. I mean, right now, they're not going to give us Masterpiece back. It will be a while before we get Masterpiece back. A lot of people were like, well, we can move Masterpiece back to one of all these if, man lists. If, if they touch Zodiacs, they better touch Masterpiece. Yeah, I feel like we'll get, like, a Dryden and a Rat Peer back before we get Masterpiece. Like, now, I'm not saying we're going to get full-powered Zodiac. We ain't getting no Broad Bull and a Dryden and two more Rat Peers. That is not happening. That comes back. I'm not if that happens, to the next panel. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna step away for a while again. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I was like. Oh, that's when I well. stopped. I was playing Zeus. I still have my Zeus back here, and I, I was like, after so long of playing Zeus, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done playing. I had True Dracos and Zeus. I even tried a True Draco Zeus deck together, 
Yeah. So if we're gonna do um, Tree King's Return, then Dynamite Knight. Dynamite Knight needs to come back to two. I don't think he needs to come back to three all the way because he can just search the freaking True King's Return, the trap card that lets you just keep spamming uh, True Dracos from the graveyard. It's like Call the Haunted for True Dracos. Yeah. So that's my opinion there then. I feel like Spiral Resort could come to two. I mean, you're using it just for a resource material to put stuff back in your deck and shuffle it if you have a Spiral Monster in the graveyard. But, I mean, if you use it so much, you're not going to have anything. It's going to destroy itself. But by then, you've already pretty much won, in my opinion. So, I feel like Spiral Resort could come to two. I wouldn't put it at three yet. I mean, we have two Terraforming and two Spiral Resorts. So, there's your play set of Spiral Resorts. Count that as three, in my opinion. Um, it's really good. And the deck's not really destroying the meta or anything. So, I feel like that's where we could be with um, Spiral Resort. What's another one you think of? Let's see. Uh, what about Terra Top? Terra Top, yeah, that could at least be a two. Don't don't cut the entire engine down. Um, give us something else. Don't bring us the whole engine back. You don't, mean? No, yeah, don't bring us the whole engine back. <laughs> Just give us two, two, two Terra Top, one Ticket Tomberg. I don't know who would run that. I might try it. Try it. I mean, but you, I don't think it's gonna do what it used to. I'm saying, that's my opinion. You know how many times I opened up with taking Tom Borg before I did a freaking terror top? That's so <laughs> yeah, annoying. A lot of times. <laughs> You're like, well, this place dead. Yeah. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> there's set some. That. There's some stuff to get rid of out of my hand. I feel like yeah, I feel like terror top could come back to two. See what it does, and if it doesn't do anything, just bring it back to three. Because what you would make MXA or MXO or M. MX Saber, and he's freaking banned now. See, MX Saber, they finally banned him for for Terra uh, Terra Top got banned for his sins. So what? You could make um, I think Totem Bird, aren't they wind? No, they're not wind. Oh yeah, I think they are. We were played it super wrong. Not you... me. You and Nick were. No, I called Nick out on it. I was like. You can't make that. He's, <laughs> He's trying like, to make a Dante. No, you can make Dante. Dante's just two Dante. level threes. Like you, couldn't, you couldn't make Dante. I think you can't make Totem Bird. Yeah, yeah there you go. You that's, make Dante. That was a Totem Bird play. There you go. That's You're what just like, you can't do that. And he's like, what? I was like, it's a win. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Bob so that's for right. nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, um, two Terra Tops for sure. I feel like, I don't know. A lot of people are going to probably give me crap for this one. Where are they? The evil Gishkis. I mean, Gus Kraken, he looks at your opponent's hand. at Only two cards out of your opponent's hand, so he'd pick two of them. We were 50-50 on this one. Yeah, we kind of got back and forth with this one. And then uh, shuffles one of them back into the deck. Okay, and then you've got uh, Mind Angus, which what he does is he just picks five cards from yours or your opponent's graveyard and shuffles them to the deck. I feel like Gus Kraken and Mind, Ang or Mind Angus... Could come back to two, but in my opinion, I feel like uh, the Mind Angus could come back to two before Gus Kraken. Gus Kraken is doing the same thing as freaking Bo uh, Gumblar Dragon, just in a smaller, a smaller effect. And like, you still have to pay for the ritual. You have to run a Gishki spell for both of these monsters. But that's your price you pay if you let that happen. I just one card. Yeah. Going back into the deck, as in five cards being shuffled into the deck from both. If I chose to. Either one. You don't think either one should come to two? Let us know how much you hate us in the comments. <laughs> Let us know what y'all think about the Gishki stuff. Or the evil e Eve Gishki, or whatever it's Eve called. Gishkis. Eve Gishki. You do the math. Yeah, you do the spelling, not us. Who's next? Um, I think that was it for the twos. Oh, what we're going to hit. What we think needs to be hit. I think, um, what is it? The beginning of the end. The stuff that's being used in the FTK right now. Of, what is it? Uh, Danger and the Burning Abyss both use it. And it's the one that's like, if you have seven or more dark monsters in your graveyard, draw three cards. Yeah. Also, um. I feel like that's too much. Some of the Sky Striker stuff. Um, Mobilize Engage and Widow Anchor. I feel like we're going to follow the OCG. Follow the OCG. Uh, like tell it. them to calm down. Because <clears throat> the deck still can play 
as pure Sky Striker, and it still does okay. I mean, they're not going to hit anything in Thunder Dragons, so we know this. It's too soon. Summon Sort isn't, or Summon Sorceress isn't going to be banned or touched because she's the like one of the preview cards in the Soul Fusion Special Edition. Everyone knows that. So I feel like. Why do they have a touch hand traps? Because they're too much money. Oh, he's like, <laughs> we like our money. Hand traps are cool. That's like saying, like, I think maybe as a, like, a freaking honorable mention, I feel like freaking, like, Marionetta, Altergeist Marionetta, or Altergeist Multifaker, I feel like they could hit one of them. I'd, if anything, I'd hit Multifaker. I think they should hit Marionetta. Either one. I mean, Marionette is good because you can just tribute itself in the special multifigure from multi-figure, the graveyard, and yeah. guess what? There's multifigure into another card. Or um, the trap cards. The protocol. That way the you protection can... one? Protocol, yeah. You don't want them to have any protection. No. I'm just kidding. Aren't yeah. you the one that wanted to play? You were playing all their guys? No, I learned them. Oh, okay. I didn't want to play them. I was going to learn the deck. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're trying to get beat by it. Yeah, I'm trying to get beat <laughs> by it. So I was like, I'm going to learn this deck. Right. You know when to hit it. And then I found out, I know what, like, protocols should get, I don't know, hit, or the one that special summons that where you can bash from the graveyard, that could chill. Um, okay. But it's, it's the fact that Multifaker is any trap card. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a It, has to be, it doesn't have to be an Alter Guys card. trap card, so that's kind of busted. So that's it, the part why I say Multifaker. Yeah, Multifaker. Well, well what you hit him to? One or two? If you, you multi- can't if you, you, multi- the if you, if you hit multi-faker at one, a lot of card shops are going to make a lot of money because they're going to sell the deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, a lot of players are going to make some... They're not going to make any money. They'll probably lose money. Lose they're going to be like, well, going to play anymore because um, I think that'll just kill the deck because multi-faker, that's, that's, that's your play. That's your link play. What would you say about like Infinite Impermanence, Ash Blossom, and um, Ghost Ogre all getting hit to two? I don't think they'll hit hand traps because they got the new one coming out. The, what new one? The uh, Tinker Bell that wants to stop in the grave. Ghost Bell's already out. Like I said, it's <laughs> out. Ghost Bell. I don't, think, I don't think they're gonna touch that stuff. I mean, I don't say Bell would get hit or Valor, but Ash if anyone, Ogre and, if anyone would be go, it'd be Ghost Ogre. Uh, I think it'd be Ash. I mean, if they're trying to slow the game down, it's going to be Ash. We'll know soon enough. If they're not trying to slow the game down, they're just trying to control the FTKs. Bet you an Ash it's an Ash. No. What? Come on, man. No, I'm good. I'm not betting any <laughs> Ash just in case. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. An infinite permanence, I don't think. Or evenly matched. Or uh, rivalry warlords. That's that ain't going to get toys. <laughs> no. They're too There's deep. a funny duel between me and him. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> It's like 30 turns of us playing the Alter Geist Mirror Match. Alter Geist Mirror Match like, that uh, went on for a long time. But yeah, that was pretty bad. I don't think they're going to touch those yet. I don't think they are either. All right, so let's go to, what, threes? So you said Widow Anchor and Mobilizing Gaze, yeah. right? Okay, just making sure. And then we had the uh, Alter Geist things. Oh, one of the things I think that could come off at one, if we put it back to one, is six cents. Yeah. If you want to give us a bunch of crap and you don't want to give us maxi, give us six, six cents. Give us six cents at one. I mean, it's slow. It's a trap card. It's not like I can be like. But it's, it's not like an evenly match where odds. I can just be like into battle phase or like into main phase one. Six cents. I pick one and six. Take your roll. <laughs> it's like. I mean, you, you can pick any numbers, one through six, and what if they roll and it lands on it, that's what you draw, but if you don't, you send them from the deck to the graveyard. Uh, Infernoids, Lightsworn, something along that line. Zombies. Zombies. Uh, what else do we got that can play it? Uh, Christrons. Christrons? Yeah, yeah, because you, you, you can synchro or use their effects from the graveyard, and like I feel like that one could come to one. And then um, also another one for the twos. I think uh, Eradicator, uh, Epidemic Virus could come to two. I mean, it's it's a trap card that needs to be slowed, and you got it only can be used when you have a, what is it? I think it's you tribute to twenty five hundred or more 24? monster. Twenty four. Twenty five. It's twenty five. I'm pretty sure. Uh, monster, and it uh, your opponent can't. And does it destroy them or can't use their it spell or trap? Them. The second yeah. they draw, them, it's destroyed. Yeah, and any of them out of their hand, spell or trap cards. 
So you put that to two, there's your combatant against freaking Sky Strikers. A guy uh, did that to me. He, uh, I think it was the Raticator, but he, he greeting, gray, greeting gray virus me. I was playing Infernoids and literally said, all of my Infernoids to the graveyard, and he quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, Thank thanks, you. <laughs> thanks, bud. Yeah. So, and then, um, I like he, the virus cards. Yeah, I like that one. I just think that one could help a lot with today's meta, with mm. the way it's played, yeah. and... Freaking hand traps are like evenly matched and epidemic or what is it? Uh, infinite and permanent stuff that can be used from the hand. You flip that over and be like, "Yeah, it's a nice trap." <laughs> out of your hand, please. Get out of here. Yeah. So I think that would work real good. Um, and another one would be, I guess, Evil Swarm Exiton Knight. I, you could say it could go to two, but I mean, it ain't done crap. Like it came back with its errata, ain't done a dang thing. I feel like. I feel like it can go to three and no one would freaking blink over it. Like, maybe oh, the, crap, that's a three? What? Yeah, maybe the Evil Swarm players would be like, oh, sh oh, Snikes, Batman. Snikes. <laughs> oh, Snikes, Batman. Let's we'll play some. No, we won't. I ain't editing nothing. <laughs> Don't let him lie to you. All right, so that was those. So at threes, what do you think could come off to three? We've done this. Premature burial. All right, we'll go down here. So we'll we'll start with the semi-limited stuff. Sorry, we should have been using this and just making it a little easier for you guys. So just kind of sitting here chit-chatting, but I feel like that's what we feel most comfortable with with doing. Called by the grave. Called by the grave is not coming back to three. Let us have it. No. You want my opinion? That's what I got. Well, I get your opinion, but it's not gonna the happen. Gigi Hopper librarian. I feel like he could, cause we don't have Chris draw needle fiber. For your boy, Dark Destroyer. Dark Destroyer needs to come back to three for sure. And it's not just because I I love playing Cosmos. Don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm a little biased. A little biased. It is a little biased of a of a choice with this card. But I mean, he is Cosmos. Is he? He's he's like the best card he's in the like Cosmos. The Destiny deck. draw. Pretty much like unless you're built playing like the freaking True Draco Cosmos style, then Strawman is the card. So if you throw a draw three, you. would don't care. Don't give two snaps. Two, two snaps. Don't even care. Two snaps, bro. <laughs> Here it goes. Destroyer. <laughs> Anyways. We're going in, boys. If I, pull, right. dude, if I pull three of those, we going in. And then I feel like um, another one we forgot to say earlier is um, e telly Emergency tell What is it? To uh, three? No, 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 no. To two. <laughs> You Three do would be done. <laughs> I'd be like, playing a Cosmos tomorrow morning. <laughs> uh, that'd be crazy. I'd step away. You'd step away? Yeah, because I said, you tell you to three. You want to do it? <laughs> what? Wait, can you have like three in the morning? Let's do it. Hey, it dropped. What dropped? It dropped. Yeah, I feel like emergency teleport could go to two. I mean, the only decks that really use them is like Cosmos and oh, Slumber. Sykes. Or Psychics. I wish Sliver would go to two. But that ain't gonna happen. Okay. Soul charge. I feel like those are the, the ones that we say could come off the ban list completely. I'm just saying what I wish would come. Yeah, and like the Dark Arm Dragon, like we said earlier. Uh, I feel like it could go to three as well. Um, oh, did we hit a Book of Moon? Did we say that? Um, I don't think we said Book of Moon. No, we didn't. Uh, book, yeah, I feel like Book of Moon could come off to of three too. That was one of them we were talking about earlier, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And I know they don't like generic draw cards, but I feel like Upstart Goblin needs to come to two. Some draw power. Yeah, I mean you're giving your opponents a thousand life points, so you use three of them. That's three k. That's just my opinion. <clears throat> is the Upstart. And then um, I think that was it. I think that was all that we thought. Let us know. Yeah, let us know if you anything. think we missed anything or some of our decisions are a little out there. Um, be a great video of this band list drop right now. Yeah, I mean, they said no sooner than the 20th. Well, today is the 20th. So, like I said, we'll see one in January, most likely. Yeah. But that's our opinion, guys. Give us full pieces of Exodia 3. Let's get in there, boy. Pot of Desires. No. I know exactly your build for that. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, you don't because we wouldn't have graceful charity. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back. Yeah, I need. I need 
Three pieces of our exodia, Konami. three potted, potted greens, and three pot, uh, graceful charities, and Konami. we in there. Konami, we need to talk. Yeah. <laughs> just legalize it for just the side of it for me to play with. I'm going to locals, legalize it. Right. <laughs> locals? What? I'm going to a white CS boy. I'm traveling what? if that gets legalized. <laughs> I, would la- I would not let you in. <laughs> like that guy. And play no. Exodia Incarnate as well. Get out of here. No. Nope. I saw your dick. No. <laughs> you, get to play but, the, you get to play with the kids over there. <laughs> but that's oh. it for us, guys. Like, Let us know if we missed anything down below. Um, I feel By like the way, feel free everything. to comment on the baby face. No, please don't. Yes. Yes. No. He done messed up. He misplaced his beard. <laughs> He got hit by the band list, bro. Oh, my <laughs> God. Always, guys. Y'all, y'all take it easy. Let um, us know what y'all think. And as always, guys. Stay nerdy. Hey.